to get the invoice template first you can go to customer invoices create an invoice let's just select the customer and the account code update the total amount and save so this is just for sample purpose so you can create for the others account another invoice Sample this so right now we have two invoices so we are going to export the template you can select these two invoices or control a to select all right click use io export by excel so now we are trying to extract this template so let's say i put it at uh, desktop and the templates as io invoice and save so you can see the template is at our desktop you can see this is the layout of the template so this is the invoice number invoice date invoice tool will be this part this is invoice to terms as according to the customer maintenance terms column which is here because uh, if you have set up for customer inside the customer maintenance you will see that there is a terms code which is here okay this is based on your setting in customer maintenance that due date due date is it's also it will follow the document date so just leave it as a, the due date text date also so that's why document date due date and test date will be same description will be this this is a description So debtor code will be this is the debtor code the customer code okay it's according to your customer maintenance setup also so currency is actually if uh, this is a local the rate is you can put one because this is from ex export you can put one as well reverse rate also can put as one so it's default VAT you can put forced so total amount Okay, this is the total amount let's say uh, this bill is 230 so this is the due amount which is a total amount if this is a tax inclusive it's actually referred to the tax inclusive column so default is untake that's why you put forced so is it rounding rounding is means that this rounding column so it's also untake so that's why you can put forced is this document cancelled so this is uh, no cancel so you can just uh, put it as false actually cancel is under this one because it's still um, uh, valid it's not a cancel so you put false so you can see this pass all is in header document header which means invoices this is a header and also footer this is a footer because we can see the total amount just now in the due amount column which is here so the be beside is the contents the contents example this one GL account it's actually this one this is a detail okay it represents sales account so we put this GL account in this column GL account description will be this description tax rate um, if this is no any SST so you can put a zero like this zero percent if there's any project this project is actually referred to actually from here you can right click column chooser you can drag for the project 
oh sorry because of your module i think you don't have project module so you can just ignore this column project departments call center you can ignore so the amount amount will be like this this is the amount so let's say now i'm going to import another uh, invoices first thing you need to um have a unique documents in unique number let's say i change it to number three and number four so at once trading okay b and c mm, let's say the date is a uh, 15 and this is 16 okay same date okay so my document date term due date and tax date will be same and then okay let's say i didn't change for the debtor could uh, remain okay so let's say the amount is a uh, four thousand this is a uh, hundred fifty so sales account since uh, i have just one sales account in my chart of account i didn't change it so i or i have another maybe one zero zero slash zero two zero zero okay i change to so this is how we uh, import for different uh, documents different gel account so this amount will be same as um, this one four thousand this is four thousand and this is hundred fifty this is hundred fifty and then save okay let's say I try to import now to import the documents go back in your invoices in the screen so if you can't see the screen right I think maybe when you click on the invoice it would represent like this you can always click on search then it will display this screen so in this listing in more listing you can right click io and this time we import just now we amend the contents now we import from excel so i select the excel file let's say io invoices so and then we can op click ok to import so right now i can see number three and number four is imported so this is my sales account for four thousand so I can click on info GL journal this two button same so you can see the double entry okay 4000 4000 is on sales so let's say this is another uh, entry is 150 it will post to sales and services so what I'm doing just now is the first step I because um, since you are new in the software you don't have the template I will just create a sample uh, assemble invoice to export the template so when I export it will give me IO invoice so this will be my template and then I can just um, you can copy paste for your Excel from your Excel but the formula is this part will be the header and the right hand side will be the contents or the details okay after we put in all the contents we just go inside this invoice listing right click io and import import from excel so you can select the the excel file that you already modified just now so this is our procedure just now okay so what if i have a documents like this example let's say we see the manual key in first let's say in manually i have a sales 1000 and I have a service sales for services okay this is 2000 so I have two role or even more than that okay so how how is the import it will look like okay, let's say I create for the others one I want to to see more sample Okay, this is a service. Sales for service. Okay, and save. 
So, right now I will try to export from number 5 and number 6 which I created just now and then I O export. I want to, to see the template how it will look like. So let's say I O invoice 2. If we have a, a contents or details more than one row, it will present in this way. So this is uh, documents number 005. You can see it is actually in one row. Okay, 3000. And then, but you can see the content, it will split. Split to sales account and service account. Because just now we have under two row in the contents. So in the Excel file, you should put in this way. Okay, first, the first row is the title. But you can see for the second row, it is empty. If you look at the contents, so this is a sales account for 1000 and then for service gel account is 2000. This one is a contents. So remember, if you have a contents more than one row, for the header side, the second row, you have to be empty. Let's say you have third row, fourth row or so for the contents, you have to be empty. In header side, you can just have one row um, for the header. You cannot more than that. Otherwise, the import may not successful. So let's say I will just uh, example how it, how to import of it. Let's say I change to number 7 and number 8. So let's check. Actually, we are until 006. So in my contents, in my Excel format, I will just modify to 007 and 008. Let's see the import. Yeah, so it will be imported. Yeah, you can see the contents is there. So let's try if we put a let's say I put to number nine and this is number ten. Let's say I just copy this row. I didn't put the empty space and I'm trying to import. So system will promise us some transaction is already assist in the database. And the overall option is disabled. Below Excel data is failed to import. It will have this error message. Okay. So in that case, only one row can be imported, but the second row, the services, it cannot be imported. So the data might not correct, but for those in one row only, that can be imported. There is no problems. Thank you.